Oh. I'm glad to see you. Welcome to story time with Dirty Dale. Let's get started. Work. The managing director was scheduled to speak at an important convention. So he asked Jenkins, one of his employees, to write him a punchy 20 minute speech. When the MD returned from the big event, he was livid. What's the idea of writing me an hour long speech? He raged at Jenkins. Half the audience walked out before I was finished. Jenkins was baffled. I wrote you a 20 minute speech, he said. I also gave you the two extra copies you asked for. Trying to surprise her husband, an executive's wife. Is this a separate joke? Truths. No one has ever complained of a parachute not opening. Trying to surprise her husband, an executive's wife stopped by his office. She found him with a secretary sitting on his lap. Without hesitating, he dictated... And in conclusion, gentlemen, shortage or no shortage, I cannot continue to operate this office with just one chair. <laughs> okay. Love is photogenic. It needs darkness to develop. The boss of a small firm reluctantly told four of his employees, I'm going to have to let one of you go. The black employee said, I'm a protected minority. The female employee said, and I'm a woman. The oldest employee said, fire me pal and I'll hit you with an age of discrimination suit so fast it'll make your head spin. They all turned to look at the young white male employee who thought for a moment before saying, I think I might be gay. <laughs> that's, that's the joke. This is old both folks, so uh, don't blame me. A good discussion is like a mini skirt, short enough to be interesting and long enough to cover the subject. It was a baking hot day in the office. The temperature was nudging 100 outside and really foul smell was wafting around the noon. The temperature was the temperature was nudging 100 outside and a really foul smell was wafting around the room. As the odor grew more intense, the 14 strong workforce began to suffer. Eventually one man pointed <coughs> Eventually one man said pointedly, clearly some of the odor isn't working. The guy in the corner called out, Well it can't be me because I'm not wearing any. Never entrust their life to a surgeon with more than three band-aids on his fingers. So, why is it that the less important you are in a company, the more your absence is noticed? Generally speaking, you're not learning much when your mouth is moving. Having finally run out of patience, the boss called a young employee into the office. Into his office. It is not it has not escaped my attention that every time there's a home game at the stadium, you have to take your aunt to the doctor. The employee looked thoughtful and said, You know, you're right, sir. I didn't realize. You don't suppose she's faking it, do you? Never give yourself a haircut after three margaritas. Manager, sorry, I can't give you a job. I don't need much help. <clears throat> Applicant, that's okay. In fact, I'm just the right man for you. You see, I won't be much of help anyway. When you make a mistake, make amends immediately. It's easier to eat humble pie while it's still warm. On his first day in the office, a young trainee picked up the phone and said, Get me a coffee. The voice on the other end boomed. You idiot, you've dialed the wrong extension. Do you know who you're talking to, you fool? No, said the trainee. This is the managing director. And do you know what, who you're talking to, you fool, responded the trainee? No? Good. And the trainee put down the phone. Giddy! Talk is cheap because supply exceeds demand. Stonks. A boss collared one of his employees and said, I know you were skipping yesterday. You were out playing golf. The employee retaliated, That's a damn lie, and I have the fish to prove it. Boom! You can't represent, you can't respect a man who carries a dog. A clean desk is a sign of a cluttered desk drawer. Where signs that you're a corporate geek. You ask the waiter what the restaurant's core competencies are. 
She decided to rearrange her family into a team-based organization. She referred to dating as test marketing. You can spell paradigm. You actually know what a paradigm is. You understand your airline's fare structure. You write executive summaries on your love letters. You celebrate your wedding anniversary by conducting a performance review. You believe that you never have any problems in your life, just issues and improvement opportunities. You end every argument by saying, let's talk about this offline. You can explain the difference between downsizing, right-sizing, restructuring, and firing people. You insist on conducting further market research before you and your spouse produce another child. You use the term value added without laughing. You talk to the waiter about process flow when the meal arrives late. You refer to your partner as my co-CEO. You start to feel sorry for Dilbert's boss. You give constructive feedback to your dog. You believe the best tables and graphs take at least an hour to comprehend. Your Valentine's Day cards have bullet points. Boss, do you do you think you can handle a variety of work? Applicant, I ought to be able to. I've had eight different jobs in the past three months. Ayo. Ayo. He's a fucking lame. Ayo.